Uh, I told my girl head to... In the middle, at seven foot zero inches, number 10, What you know about rolling down in the deep? When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. When these people talk too much, put that kick in slow motion. Yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Ay, what you know about rolling down in the deep? When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. When these people talk too much, put that kick in slow motion. Yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. What you know about rolling? It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Glad you're here with us tonight for this Monday night presentation. With Brett Barry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. DA, take it away. Thanks very much. Now, improving NBA officiating has gone high tech. Today, the NBA uses the proprietary game review system, which is broken down from double digit camera angles. Analysts spend a day or two dissecting each game. And Kevin, that data is used for evaluating, training, and communication with the teams. Isn't that something? I mean, every day there's something new. Fascinating, fascinating stuff, DA. Thank you. Looking at the starting five for the Phoenix Suns. Ball and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. Duran is out there with Ayton. And it's Warren in at the small forward position. And for Sacramento. The backcourt pair will be Fox with Herder. Sabonis is out there with Lyons. And it's Barnes in at the three, the small forward. And the Kings look a whole lot different now than they did for most of the 21-22 season. And they were changes that had to be made. So Sacramento will get the first possession. Fox against Paul. Fox looking it over. And he gets it to go. Aaron. Now when a team suffers a playoff drought like the Kings have, Greg, you can expect some major moves. And you just hope they can find some stability, Kevin, moving forward. This is a team that's gone through 12 head coaches since the last time they made the playoff. A nice shot by Katie. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Sabonis kicks to Fox. Over Paul. Fox no good. Warren the pass to Paul. Warren against Fox. Outside Warren. Ayton sets the pick for Warren. And it's Ayton missing. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat out miss. Warren against Fox. Shoots over Warren. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Fox. That shot misses. So Phoenix will take it the other way. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. I thought they had a solid game plan coming into that one. And then they made good adjustments along the way. Well, the great thing about watching that game was that we saw it through their offense and they showed a few different looks that they settled into and played well. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing and that's some effort got burned on that one. Now here's Barnes. He had a 15 point outing in their last game against the Celtics in Boston. To the paint. Here's Sabonis. And slam dunk by Sabonis. And Sabonis getting his entire body up that time for the game. Suns lean by three. Ball left side. Fox with the steal. Over Paul. Fox no good. 
Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. And Aiton throws it down. As long as passes are in that area, Aiton's going to get up and go down. Fox kicks to Sabonis. Pass to Herter. The kick out to Barnes. It's good from long range. Harrison Barnes very comfortable in that catch to shoot. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the Phoenix Suns. The pass to Durant. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The Kings have gone 3 of 7 from the field since we've gotten underway. Here's Hurt. He had a 15 point outing in their last game against Boston. Here's Sabonis. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. Well, the father First of DeMontis Sabonis, Arvidas, named to the NBA 75 All European team. Arvidas, 7 3, and just so skilled. throw good Sabonis and Greg what was it like playing with the 7-3 Arvidas uh, when you were in the NBA together Kevin we, we had a couple years together in Portland and I'll tell you what he was an incredible passer really made me a better cutter because he was the first guy I played with that could make all the passes no matter where he was on the floor and, and prior to playing in college Sabonis played professionally in Spain that's such a head scratcher to me I mean 16 years old. I mean, here you'd be getting your license. There, Sabonis was playing in professional leagues against grown men. So that experience certainly has helped him both in college and for sure being a pro now. With the step back. Fox passes to Barnes. Some nice ball movement here by the Kings. Right side, Fox. Six to shoot. Sabonis is screen on Paul. They get it back. Sabonis kicks to Fox. And the rejection by Aiton. Nice timing as Aiton's up there for the rejection. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going in this quarter. Barnes passes to Lyles. against Fox. Sabonis is screen on Paul. To the inside. Stolen by Warren. Booker in the corner. Pass to Aiton. Over Barnes. And it's Aiton missing. For Sacramento, they've gotten just three of their first nine shots to go down in this game. And here is Fox. He had a 21 point outing in their last game against Boston. Herder kicks to Barnes to the middle. Sabonis hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Six points for Sabonis. Well, Sabonis can play there on the block. That's where he did a lot of damage in college. So him working inside, that's a good sign. And the Suns call their first time out of the game. That was
on the floor for the Kings. A big group substitution here for Phoenix. Beasley's checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Torrey Craig comes in for Warren. Lee's checked in for Devin Booker. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Chris Paul. It's Payne with the ball. He'll bring it up for Phoenix. Trailing by two. Passes it to Baisley. Lee kicks to KD. Will it go? And that's two points on the layup. Durant's got seven points in the game. With teams still figuring out rotations, Brent, at this point of the season, many players are unsure about their status in the lineup. Yeah, if you're not a veteran team or a team that's been together for a lot of years, Kevin, this is about battling for minutes to, to show you're capable of handling that responsibility, and that mentality is important to the coaching staff. So you got to be ready, you got to be prepared for those minutes, and you got to produce. And it's Davis missing. Phoenix has gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. And finished up by Petey. Ooh, that play was nasty. Durant showing how aggressive he can really be. KD's gone four for five from the fortune. Just one miss. Mitchell finds hold. Pass to Monk. In the corner, Murray with it. Back to Monk. Down to five on the shot clock. Hold for the screen on Lee. Here's the drive. The shot by Monk is no good. Suns have gone 6 of 13 from the field, just under the 50% mark. The feet now to Payne. Stolen by Mitchell. The pass to Monk. From deep. They get it again. Holmes makes it off the glass. Holmes got the game tied up here for the team. Yeah, coaches from the sideline screaming, get a body on Rashawn Holmes, why don't you? From 11 feet away, here's Baisley. Rebounded by Holmes. The King shooting 36% in this first quarter, trying to get their bearings. Holmes, that's a screen. Wide open look here for Murray. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Now it's a three-point Sacramento lead. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Here's KD. Sacramento grabs the miss. And going against Phoenix, their first meeting of the season. Yeah, and the season series between these two, four games at all, starting tonight. A chance to stake out an advantage in the division. For three, Mitchell, another three for Sacramento. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. The three from KD. It doesn't go for him. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. Pass to Holmes. We've got 113 left to play in the first quarter. Murray scanning the floor. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. First person. Like many scouts felt Murray was the most NBA ready of all the draft prospects last year. He understands what he does well and plays to that. He can control the pace. It's hard for defenders to speed him up, and he gives you versatility at both ends. He's off on the first. Well, what a summer for Keegan Murray. The fourth overall pick in Preston Summer League looks to be just the type of player the Kings needed. Alex Lenz checked in for the Kings. And the Suns making a change here as well. Beverly's checked in. And he's good on the second. And hard not to get excited 
about Keegan Murray's potential. He can shoot the ball. He rebounds it. If this guy continues to grow his game, he could end up being a high-level impact player. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Kings. Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep, putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. And the first one at the line is good. One of the better perimeter defenders in the game and in the golden age of scoring point guards, Patrick Beverly doing his best to slow them down on a nightly basis. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. 54 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Lynn. This is Demur. It's Davis on the win. A three-pointer off the mark. Suns trail by five. Beverly, the pass to Baisley. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Well, if you're open, Patrick Beverly is going to do his best to get you the ball. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Murray outside. Out of bounds, it will go to the Suns. Phoenix ball. Seventeen seconds left in the first quarter. Now here's Payne, covered by Mitchell. Now here's Payne. They set the pick for the three. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. It's Sacramento. They're up by three. Live from Golden One Center. You're watching 2K Sports. fairly close game for the first quarter and we'll see what happens here in the second and looking at what we've seen from Sacramento so far uh, guys what do you think just stretching out the floor that first uh, they had the defense scrambling pretty prime example here of how to space the floor and do it correctly when you do it that's the kind of thing that happens Suns trail by three so with Durant sitting on the bench, here's the group that Monty Williams has on the floor. Booker and Warren on the perimeter. Aiton is out there with Torrey Craig. And it's Beverly in at the point guard. Now, here's Craig. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And it's Aiton missing. Kings leading now by three. Fox from outside. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Fox. And the Kings making a change here. Herders checked in. And the Suns also making a change. Paul's checked in for Patrick Beverly. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. Pass to Craig. The pass to Paul. Eyes yet again. Booker finds Craig. And a great assist by Booker as that one goes in. And this kind of distribution is something that Devin Booker is only going to improve upon. Fox against Paul. Has to land to the inside. Fades back. That one wide left. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. Booker outside. Warren against Barnes. Shoots from 12. And yes, it's good. Warren's got his first points of the night. Yeah, mid-range is where he makes his game. T.J. Warren excellent at utilizing that area of the floor. Offensive plays drawn up for him there. 
Now, here's Sabonis. Six points for him. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. For Phoenix, they've gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Craig against Fox. Craig can't get it to go. Kings have gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. Barnes banked in off the glass. Barnes has got it all tied up now for the Kings. Just getting more and more court awareness and where guys are at all times is De'Aaron Fox. Ball against Fox. Paul kicks to Craig. It's rebounded by De'Aaron Fox. The Kings have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Herter with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Lock at six. Glenn, a screen. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Herter making it look easy that time on the pick and roll as the off guard. Booker looking around. Sabonis grabs the ball. Sabonis has got six rebounds in the game. Ball against Fox. To the paint. And Sabonis. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Sabonis has got eight. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. At the top of the key, eight. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Well, putting the wingspan to great use, Lynn throws that one. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. DeMontis Sabonis is one of the best passing big men in the league. He said sharing the ball is contagious. Everyone feels confident and knows they'll get touches, which makes the game fun. CJ Ward. That can build chemistry Three. on a young team. Kevin? And David, we know how important that is. And we thank you for your report. And here is Fox following T.J. Warren's three. Sabonis, the pass to Herter. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Herter's got his second bucket of the night for the Sacramento Kings. The last game a loss to the Celtics. Here's Booker. It's hauled in by the Kings. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Boston. you got to give an A for effort. Just fell a little bit short in that one. Uh, it would have been really nice to get that win on the road, but no team ever happy with a loss. Put up a good fight. And they had nothing to hang their heads on after that one. Al Paul, Harrison Barnes missing on the three. Comes up empty from the left block. Back in 2020, De'Aaron Fox signing a massive extension, Greg. Five years and $163 million. Yeah, and Kevin, every NBA hopeful wants that second contract. Credit to De'Aaron for working his tail off and earning every penny of that deal. That's a pretty easy opportunity for a teammate, all courtesy of Harrison Barnes. Aiton up top. Kicks to Booker. Goes up to the stripe. Second shot opportunity. Count that one, and the Kings lead has been cut to just five points on the basket from Aiton. If Aiton can get in that kind of position, he could be a bully on the inside. Timeout is called. First of the game for Sacramento. Brent, do you think shooting has improved over the years, or are there just more good shooters on the floor? Well, Kevin, if you had a bubble, I'd be bursting it right now because if you look back over the last 10 years, maybe go 20 years, shooting has not changed. Percentages have not changed, both from two-point land, three-point land, free throw line. It's not that there are more good shooters in the league. There's just more surprises as to who it is you see taking the shots.
will make substitutions. Here's Mitchell, he averages about uh, five points a game. Holmes setting the pick for Lyles. And it's sent back by KD. Instinct, timing, length. KD, great deep. Here's Beverly. The shot that time, not on target. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. Next up will be a home game matched up against the Pacers. And that game is the second of two straight at home. Miles sets a screen for Mitchell, but no one around him. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Monk's got the lead up to eight now for Sacramento. Now Payne, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Murray against Lee. Murray left side. He kicks it to Mitchell. Five to shoot. Here's Holmes. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And Rashawn using his length that time to his advantage. Excellent job of getting that foul. Sacramento shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And in terms of team members, uh, the free throw percentage is right at 74. That free throw, no good. He struggled early on, but this is a much improved part of Rashawn Holmes' game. Terrence Davis, he's checked in for Murray. And the second free throw, good. Suns trail by nine. Passes to Baisley. He dishes it to Payne. Outside, KD. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. They are just killing them on the interior. Mitchell with it, working on Payne. And it was wide open. He shoots. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. Phoenix has gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. Payne passes to Baisley. Lee outside. Pass to Baisley. Six on the shot clock. Beverly sets the screen for Payne. Can't connect from 13 feet out. He looked like he rushed it a bit. The defense wasn't terrible, but still, he's got to knock that down. Here's Mitchell trying to get open as Davis, and that one's good. Mitchell. Mitchell's got five now. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Two looking around. Two. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to go on Rashawn Holmes. Campaign just a grinder and has stuck with it. His career arc is quite interesting. Spent time in the G League and a few years back he was out of the league. Now he's back. He's confident. He's dependable. And he's a huge part of a team playing winning basketball. That's good from Payne. And he makes both free throws. Kings leading now by seven. 
151 left in the first half. Punk finds holes. And it's Baisley with the rebound. The Sun shooting just 34% from the floor. Now here's Payne, covered by Mitchell. Here's KD. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. Well, the great ones can do this. When Durant gains an advantage inside, you know he's going to score or he's going to get fouled. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And they have really leaned on his free throw shooting at times this season. He's been there for them, too, with 88% from the line. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. One of the purest scores the game has ever seen. Durant continues to somehow get better each year. So he gets them both. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Monk, the pass to Holmes. There's the dish to Davis. Over to the left wing. Shot clock at five. That shot off the mark. Good tee by Lee. Durant dishes to paint. Back to Durant from downtown. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. Just unbelievable range. Kevin Durant exploiting the perimeter weakness in the defense that time. Here is Davis. He's still scoreless so far in this one. On the wing, Monk. Piles a screen on Beverly. And it's Wiles in the corner. And he's good on the three ball. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitor. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. And there's the pass to Durant. Unloads. It's hauled in by the Kings. Holmes got four rebounds in this game. And here is Mitchell. Five points in the game. Into the lane. No good off the back of the rim. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Kings lead by five. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, guys. With head coach Monty Williams. Coach, how do you get things going a little bit more offensively? Well, we've got to set screens. We've got to get stops. If we're getting stops, we can play in transition. That opens up a lot for us. Yeah, you guys are hard to beat when you're out and running. We'll see if that happens more. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Welcome in for halftime. And what's on tap, you ask? I can answer. So far, it's been a nice outing for the Sacramento Kings. The bench is one of the strengths of this team with some big time scoring power. They've carried the extra load offensively. And that's an advantage not every team has. And let's take a look at the standings as the Western Conference starts to come into focus. Check out the Kings. They're right where I expected them to be. The effort is there, but their play is inconsistent. Feels like they're still constructing this roster. We'll see what they look like by the end of the year. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. We saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. 
What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. The backcourt pair will be Fox with Herter. Harrison Barnes is out there with Lyons. And it's Sabonis in at the center filling out the middle. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. A three-pointer is right on target. Well, he's shooting that with tons and tons of confidence. Herter with another catch-and-shoot basket. Suns trail by eight. A key member of that 73 win Golden State Warrior team was Harrison Barnes. And almost the forgotten part of the famed death lineup, it was Barnes, Steph, Clay, Draymond, and Andre Iguodala. Harrison, a big piece of that 2015 championship team as well. Yeah, little you can do now to slow him down. Durant's such a phenomenal offensive talent. Aiton against Sabonis. Fox kicks to Herter. Sacramento needs to get off a shot. Sabonis, no good. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Suns. Over in the corner, Paul. Shoots over Herter. Gets the front of the rim and out. Kings leading now by six. Giant Fox. Over Paul. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Ayton's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks very much. The Kings have made a lot of moves to shake up their roster. De'Aaron Fox says, I think the mood is definitely better. It's like a breath of fresh air. Getting a feel for each other and seeing the chemistry come to fruition is huge. Success isn't always immediate with trades and signings, so we look toward the future. Kevin, back to you. That's all they can do. Okay, thanks, DA. Well, he's using the force, but in the worst way possible right now. He just needs to dial it back and look to work the ball around the floor to his teammates. They get the rebound. Nice work on the board. He's, he's paying off with the basket. Ayton's got six points. And the defense gets physical, but Aiden doesn't seem to get knocked off of balance. That helps him to keep the focus. Pass to Herter. Over Booker. Herter, no good. Yeah, starting the half here, one for five, and the offense might need an ironing out. And Booker kicks to Aiden. Outside Durant. Fires for three. For the basket, his eighth, eight for 13 from the floor. Three points. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Shots good by Lyons. Oh, textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Outside Warren. Aiton sets the pick for Warren. Sabonis with the steal. And now Barnes running the floor all by himself. And Barnes knows in this offense he's got to get out on the break. That time does it well. Suns trail by five. Now here's Durant. 21 points in the game. Aiton a screen on Lyons. Pulls it from the elbow. Sacramento grabs the miss. it to Fox. Beyond the arc. The shot, no good. So Phoenix will take it the other way. And it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. Back to Durant. That's down the hatch. Knocks one more to his total. That's nine for 15 shooting. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong court. Now a timeout called by Sacramento.
Sacramento. Murray comes in for Harrison Barnes. And the Suns also making a change. Craig's checked in. So it's Sacramento. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Fox finds a bonus. Now here's Murray. Herter with it. He's got eight. Just three to shoot. Again, the miss by the Kings. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Craig can't get it to go. Kings leading now by three. Looking to get it going, and it's Fox Aaron with the jam. You see how dangerous De'Aaron Fox can be when he uses that speed. Fox against Paul. Booker at the elbow. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got three assists tonight. Now Fox, and he can certainly fill it up when they need him to. He's averaging almost 21 points a game. From 13 feet, it goes down. Sabonis has got 10 points in the game. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Pass to Paul. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First it's going to go on to Aaron Fox. CP3 so good at initiating Shooting contact and just irritating the defense. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Kings. Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. Well, the three-point shot has been absolutely huge for them this entire game. And, and let's be honest, you have to knock down threes to win games these days. Sacramento making some changes. Davis has checked in for Sabonis. Monk comes in for Kevin Herter. And it's Mitchell in for Fox. Phoenix also making some changes. Baisley's checked in for eight. Damian Lee comes in for T.J. Warren. And it's Payne in for Booker. No good on the second free throw. Not much more you can say about CP3. Name a better floor leader. There's not one. Davis, the pass to Mitchell. screen on Paul. The shot by Mitchell, no good. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Even before his regular season debut, Davion Mitchell was grabbing attention. Well, Davion was named the Co-2021 Summer League MVP, an honor that recognized his promise, but also a showing and signs of what he was going to do when he got to the NBA, and that was wreak havoc defensively on guards who don't like a lot of pressure. Rashawn Holmes is checked in for the Kings. Andrew Beverly is checked in for the Suns. Here's Mitchell. Five points in the game. Holmes setting the big for Mitchell. Down low. And it's Holmes off the drive. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second personal foul. And Holmes knows how to get the defense's attention on the inside. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. The first one falls. And so he's able to get one of two. Suns trail by five. Here's Payne. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. 
Yeah, well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Now, here's Mitchell. Here's Holmes. It's deflected. But given how long Baisley is, just not a good idea to get that ball anywhere near that length. Here's Beverly. Rebound by Murray. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the and one, and this time they're not backing off. Good. Wow, he doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Baisley. He's averaging a bit over five yeah, points a game. Good. good to see Baisley step up and knock down the three ball. There's the pass to Holmes. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. 158 left to play here in the third. Mitchell with it. He's picked up by Lee. And Davis can't get it to go. Suns trail by four. Baisley passes to Payne. Inside. It's tipped. Holmes with the steal. Here's Monk. Finds the open look, and it's on target. Monk's got five now. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Now here's Payne, covered by Mitchell, and he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time, the whistle blowing. For Phoenix, they have been coming through at the charity street. They've made seven of their eight attempts. For the Suns, Cameron Payne, two shots. First free throw is good. Bain hits them both. Mitchell with the ball for the King. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Murray outside. To the paint. Here's Monk. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Monk's got his third basket of the night right there. Oh, great pass from Murray. I like whenever he looks to get his guys involved. Pass to Baisley. Now, Craig, he's covered by Murray. Craig passes to Baisley. Six to shoot. Here's Lee, poke loose, and they get it back. Craig kicks to Payne. Phoenix, no good that time either. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that, uh, that's unfortunate. Here's Payne. After the basket by Davion Mitchell. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Now here's Payne. Covered by Mitchell. Beverly for three. Rebound by the Kings. Holmes got his fifth rebound in this one. Floats it up for Murray. And so it's Sacramento in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. 
Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle. You can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. On the court now for the Suns, getting going here in the fourth. The backcourt pair for him, it's Payne and Booker. Duran is out there with Warren, and it's Aiton in at the five, down low. Now here is Davis. Three, three, three. Left side, Fox. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for that. And here's Payne, outside Durant. Low block shot, and that one, good. Durant's got nine points here in the second half. Yeah, has there been a better scorer in NBA history? KD just a perfect offensive force using length that time. Now here's Davis. Deep two from Murray. Here's Sabonis. Count the basket. Hard work on the offensive glass. You can see the coaching staff rise up and clap for that effort. Booker outside. KD a screen on Davis. Outside Durant. And then Durant with the dunk. That's impressive. Kevin Durant just getting up and throwing it down. Davis the pass to Murray. Now Sabonis. Outside for Davis. And the three off target. Suns trail by six. And here's Booker from the arc. Barnes grabs the miss. Outside for Davis. Murray the pass to Davis. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It's on Kevin Durant. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. Kevin Hurd, he's checked in for Murray. And a change for the Suns. Chris Paul, he's checked in for Payne. And that one misses. The Suns have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Paul looking around. Passes it to KD. And there's the call on Kevin Herter. Kevin Herter. That's his first foul. And the Kings making a change here. Miles checked in. Into the lineup for your Kings. A three. Sacramento grabs the miss. Sabonis has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Outside Warren. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Durant inside, covered by Lions. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Shooting for Phoenix. Kevin Durant. One shot. leading by seven. Fox passes to Sabonis, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Well, Sabonis, such a fantastic prospect, a guy you think is going to play 10 or 12 years in this league, and a good job there of getting contact and getting to the line. At the line for two.
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And Sabona is such a key to this team and what they do on the inside. A big man that does a little bit of everything. And Sabonis drops them both. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Paul outside. And here's KD for three. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. Sabonis has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. KD against Barnes. Durant deciding where to go with it. Aiton at the elbow. Over Sabonis. And it's Aiton missing. Kings leading now by nine. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Here's Fox. Some solid defense from Aiton. And it's Warren with the ball for Phoenix. Dishes at the ball. Outside, KD. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got his fourth assist in this one. As good a passer as we've ever seen in the NBA, Chris Paul setting up a great look that time. Now, here's Sabonis. Kicks it to Barnes. And it's Herter, top of the key. Five on the clock, and stolen by Booker. Looking to end his cold spell, and he sinks the layup. Kevin Booker. Booker getting contact, still finding a way to finish through it. The Kings have gone three of seven from the four in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. A timeout called by the Kings. David Alder. David. Hey, Kevin. Well, I was able to listen in with what the Kings head coach said to his team. He's encouraged where they are at this point in the game, but he told his guys things can turn in a blink. What we need to do is execute the rest of the way. So we'll see if they can finish this one off, Kevin. Okay, David. Much appreciated. by Warren. Ball against Fox. Outside Warren. Over Barnes. Here's Aiton. And he drops in the way up off the glass. And now just a two-point Kings lead. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game. How it's been going for the Suns. And they've shown great focus on the defensive end, putting constant pressure on the ball and really disruptive in terms of what they've done defensively. And there's been another bonus to what's happened with them tonight, and that's the offensive rebounding. 
boxing out. They're getting up extra shots. That could be a difference maker in the result. Here's Aiton after the basket by Sabonis. The drive by KD. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Yeah, this is not the team that we saw in the first quarter right now. Way more confident out there, and the cohesion of the team is impressive. Fox finds a bonus. Back to Fox. Just five on the clock. Shoots from the high post. It's hauled in by the Suns. Not a way to get out of a funk. He needs to be looking for good, solid, more efficient shots. Not the wild one he took there. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clear. Third team. Shooting for Phoenix. Kevin Durant. At the line for two. He misses the free throw. And he sinks the second. And you know, you can't dwell on that one miss. They're still in a position here to take the lead if they can get a stop. Pass to Sabonis. It's Aiton with the rebound. Yeah, I have no idea why he went with the fadeaway there. The defense was nowhere near him, and he should have just kept it simple. Offensive rebound to take the lead. Crystal blows. Bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. If Aiton continues to use his frame like that and stays active, that's a good sign. The young big man, though, often struggle to find consistency. But you look at Aiden's first four seasons, the numbers are almost identical year to year. On the free throw, no good. And for Aiton, the numbers are impressive indeed, averaging a double-double every season. And he's got all the tools, next steps, making more plays for others, and they've been working on his shooting range to open up the lane a bit more. Sabonis with the bucket. The assist. And here are the Suns. They're on a 15-6 run. Durant sets a screen for Booker. Again, Phoenix. Booker is the leader, and you got to trust him in that spot. The Kings trailing. Fox passes to Sabonis. Now here's Herder. He's covered closely. Down low. Shot from 12. And there's Sabonis. That's good on the assist by Barnes. Barnes has got five assists tonight. against Fox. Ball passes to Durant. And that one right there, that's the play with KD and that rip through. That move was so good that the league started to consider how they'd rewrite the rule book for guys reaching in. At the line for the Suns. Kevin Durant taking two shots. throw drops for KD. Murray's checked in for Trey Lyons. That one misses. Shaking his head moment there. Had a chance to put them out in front. 
but at least they're tied up. And that one's good, Aiton. How about a pivotal hoop from DeAndre Aiton? Now a timeout called by Sacramento. We've seen Kevin Durant really having a great game. The defense has to take the ball out of his hands. He's just knocking down every three-pointer he takes right now. Once again, fans, that was your 9-1-6 crew dance team. Fox with it, now defended by Warren. Fox passes to Sabonis. Double team Sabonis. Nobody near Barnes. Those three pointers off the mark. And it's Paul with the ball for Phoenix. The lead is two. Two minutes in the game. Two minutes. Outside Warren. 153 left in the game. And there's Aiton, and that's good on the assist by Warren. 14 points for DeAndre Ayton. Kings have gone 6 to 13, so just above 46% on their field goal attempts are in the court. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox to the inside. Out of bounds, Phoenix will take possession. That could be costly. When the game is hanging in the balance, the last thing you can afford is to turn it over. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. Look around, son. The pass to Paul. Over Fox. That one off the back iron and out. The Kings trail by four. Murray misses to Fox. We've got 113 left in the fourth quarter of this one. To the middle. Seven foot shot. The kick out to Barnes. A putback and stay with the play. Sabonis. Sabonis has got 22. And Sabonis showing no fear coming through big time there. Oh, Aiton in position. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop. Herder finds Murray. Gets the bucket and the foul. Chris Paul picks up that one. That is world class. Love seeing that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. And Phoenix making a change. Haynes checked in. Shooting for Sacramento. Murray at the line for one. One shot. Okay. 
He knocks down the clutch free throw. Knicks. Guys, that was critical. I mean, that's what we're used to seeing out of him, though, at moments like this. Phoenix calls timeout. They trail by one. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The your Sacramento Kings breakers. finds KD. Back to Booker. This one for three. Durant against Murray. Goes back up. Rebound by the Kings. They've led by as much as 10. And he commits the intentional foul. Second person foul. Fourth team foul. Taking two shots. Shoot two. He doesn't hit the first, and that way is the one they really want. He's got one more, though. High pressure moment here for De'Aaron Fox. No need to rush, just focus on the hoop. Timeout called by the Kings. They're ahead by one. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. T-shirts. Well, here they to drop either. Coming up empty that time. 
Part of being a point guard like Fox is you handle the ball a lot and you get a lot of opportunities late in the game. So clutch free throws are something you have to be ready for. Oh, off target. Had a foul to get there, but he's rather not having caution. Your team Phoenix calls timeout. They're trailing by one. 12 seconds left to play here in the fourth. What's your take, guys? Yeah, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. And sometimes not just what a coach draws up, but who he has execute in these moments. the game up the pressure is on but Booker can handle it he just has to trust himself and so making both free throws that'll give them the lead here and you just have to understand that hours and hours of practice mean that clutch free throws become easy. Here's Fox. No good. And so it's Phoenix who scraped by with the win. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for us. Really an accomplishment. An crazy finish to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much, KD. Huge night for you offensively. What was the mentality? Um, I put on the gas trying to get the money, trying to score. Uh, especially when we're down that many points and we can't generate enough offense that fast. We're trying to get to it. Um, so tonight, you know, it was no different. I felt the energy was down, so I tried to do something to help my team out on the offensive side of the ball and defense. And, I mean, I can't say enough about the rest of the guys that get this W. And they followed your lead to that W, man. Thanks. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, Kevin Durant.